Hello everyone, welcome to today's uh, lecture video. We are going to see the continuation of uh, subject verb agreement. We have seen eight rules so far. Uh, we are in between the eighth rule. So I have told you in the previous slide that expression of uh, time, money and measurement and weight, they should always take singular verb. Okay, for example, $5 is too much to ask. 10 days is not nearly enough time. Okay, on special occasions like when you count uh, minutes one by one, in that time they are individually counted, so you use plural verb. Okay, and then some nouns they always uh, seem to be plural in number. Take for example, uh, they seem to uh, be like plural uh, nouns, but they are not plural in nature, they are singular noun. Take for example, mums, economics, social studies. Uh, home uh, home economics, measles, statistics, civics, physics, gymnastics, phonics, news, air, acrobics, aesthetics, thesis, mathematics. Okay, these are the examples as they end with yes. Okay, you may consider it as plural uh, noun, but it is not plural. They are all singular in nature. Take for example, mathematics is an easy subject for some people. Physics is taught by Professor Baldwin. Okay. And then with pair words, they um, always we use singular verb. Take for example, rice and curry. Why we call it as pair words? They cannot stand alone. They have to depend upon the other, uh, uh, other thing in order to make a complete meaning. That is why they are called pair words. Take for example, we cannot simply have rice without curry. We cannot simply have curry without rice. So they uh, make a whole pot. Together they make a whole pot. So they, they are considered as a whole unit. As I said in collective noun, when something is considered as a whole unit, we use only singular verb. So here, uh, rice and curry becomes a whole unit. So we use singular verb. Uh, so likewise, we have so many examples like hammer and sickle. Uh, slow and steady, truth and honesty, horse and carriage. This is the most common one asked in the quest, uh, examinations. Crown and glory, rise and fall, coming and going, screaming and shouting, age and experience, long and short, uh, sum and substances, bag and baggages, etc. etc. So now, now let's uh, check out some of the examples. Rise and fall is common in the war. Okay, rise and fall is common in the war. Horse and carriage is ready for the War. Okay. Age and experience gives you wisdom. Next one. Rule number 11. If two nouns are, if two nouns, okay, if two nouns are connected with and before the first uh, singular noun, if we have any articles or possessive adjectives, then it means only one person. Okay. Take for example, we have two nouns here, principal and secretary. They are the names of two nouns. So if these two nouns are connected by only one article and one adjective like my my principal and secretary, your principal and secretary, their principal and secretary, then it means these two positions are played by only one person. So the principal and secretary may mean only one person. One person plays two different roles. So we are talking about one person. When you have only the one article or one adjective before two nouns, it means that we are talking about one person. So you have to use was. The principal and secretary was there. The principal and secretary is coming to the meeting. Okay. Two person playing one role. But if you use two the or two or, uh, adjectives before uh each of the nouns, it means two different people. Take for example, the principal and the secretary were there. Your principal and your secretary were there, meaning your principal and your another person, your secretary were there in the meeting. Okay, next one. Rule number 12. If you have two adjectives, okay, if two adjectives are connected with, again, similar to the previous one. If two adjectives were connected by one uh, article, then it means uh, that 
two adjectives refer only one person one object or one animal so here we have an example a black and white cat was mewing so here two adjectives refer only one cat it means that the cat has both color black and white patched okay so a black and white cat was mewing but if you have okay two different articles or two different adjectives before uh, sorry two different articles before the adjectives then it means that a cat a black and white cat were mewing because they were two different animals a black a complete white black and a uh, black and a white cat were mewing so if you say a black and a white cat was mewing that is wrong you should not say like that next one rule number 13 in the following uh, i told you all indefinite or uh, indefinite pronouns they always take sing, uh, singular verb take for example each every they are all singular uh, indefinite articles they must take singular verb each pen and pencil is red you don't think that we have pen and pencil they are two objects so you must use or no whenever you have each in a sentence in the beginning of the sentence then you must go for um singular verb each pen and each pencil even here you have two each so you have to use a uh, plural verb no that's wrong you should not use two uh you should not use plural verb so each pen and each pencil is red okay every boy every girl is laborious after even for every you have to use singular verb each of these four pens is red again okay? uh it is uh singular in nature but in some occasion if you have the plural uh, noun before each e e plural noun or plural pronoun before each then it is it means plural subject okay we each have a pen they each have a pen if you have a plural subject before each or every then you must go for plural verb next one uh yeah uh each either neither they are distributed nouns let's see how they work okay each is used for two or more than two people either is used for more than two people sorry two people either is used only for two people and neither is used for two people every is used for more than two people so please have it in mind whenever you use this okay let's go for some exercises the football player dash 5 miles every day runs sorry football players okay plural noun so plural verb run the football players run 5 miles every day now that uh, red haired lady in the fur hat lives across the street because we are we are talking about only one lady these are all just a description okay the red haired lady lives across the street everybody was asked to remain quiet because after every and each you will have to use only singular verb neither of the men is here yet okay after either or neither you will have to use only is singular verb either either the cups or the glasses in the dish okay either the uh, cups or the glasses or in the dish water dish wash, washer we have used or here because after or okay rule number 5 after or or not if you have plural verb you have to stick to plural adjective okay and then annie and her brothers are at school either of my mother or my father is coming to the meeting the dogs or the cats are outside either of my shoes or your coat is always on the floor george and tamara don't want to see that movie one of the sisters ona is going to the meeting so so uh, that is how we have to be careful about subject verb agreement okay so if you have any we, i have given more exercises regarding subject verb agreement in uh, uh, google classroom lecture notes if you have any doubt you can always ask me thank you for watching the video thank you so much